What's up, mother? Ooh, my mom told me to stop swearing <laughs> in my videos, but I really just want to start every single video by asking, what's up, motherfucker? But she doesn't like it. So, mom, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Welcome back to my channel. I upload very sporadically because I am a student. I always feel the need to say that to all 1,000 people that ever subscribed to my channel. <laughs> but I'm graduating this spring, so maybe I can start getting the ball rolling and making more videos. However, because I am a student, I'm kind of living a crazy life. It's currently 1.25 in the morning and I'm gonna do my makeup as a form of therapy because doing your makeup is like very therapeutic. It's good for me. I change up my makeup all the fucking time. I never wear the same product twice in a row, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do my makeup today and just chit chat about random stuff that's driving me absolutely insane. So we're gonna start by moving my hair out of my face. So I have a clean canvas to use. <laughs> what is my life, man? What am I even doing, man? Um, if you're watching this, you should subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate it the absolute most. I actually just turned 22 last month is very exciting um i've been 22 for about a month now and i can truly say it's kind of boring but i'm just putting lotion on um, for a good base um i'm gonna talk just about random stuff that happened to me recently one thing that happened to me i went out to my truck and i noticed i'll put a picture up but there was a zip tie tied to the back of my car i immediately was sus because i didn't put it there but my dad works on my truck. Instead of taking it to the shop, we save some bucks and my dad will do it. I sent a message to him of the zip tie on the back of my car and I said, Hey, like, uh, one second, I'm gonna put my other earrings in because it makes it look better. And by it, I mean my face. <laughs> okay, now my earrings are in and I feel a little more <laughs> cute. And I'm just like, hey, like, do you remember putting anything on the back of my truck that you would use like a zip tie for? It was in such a weird spot. It was by like my trailer hitch. So it's not even somewhere where you would zip tie something. And he just texted me back and he was like, no, um, I'm going to start with this Tarte Balm. There's a dupe by e.l.f. that is very, very similar to this. And it retails a lot cheaper than this Tarte one did. Uh, I think you can get it at normal drugstores. I forget the name. It's like a miracle blur thing. That's literally what it does. It just um, goes over your pores and makes makeup lay over them a bit nicer. Anyway, but I, my dad was like, no, I didn't put that there. Not that I remember. So I think my truck got tagged low key. Um, for what? I don't know. My truck has been broken into twice and I've had things stolen from my truck twice now. I hope it's not <laughs> for that because I don't know if there's anything left to steal in my truck, honestly. Unless they were trying to steal like me and my person, which is scary. I don't know. So I, today around like 2 p.m. or something when I went out there, I cut it off. Um, Cause why would I leave it on? Yeah, really sus. I don't, I don't know. It was kind of scary. Um, I don't use foundation because my skin texture isn't really that good that if I put a lot of face makeup on, it just looks really bad. So I try to keep it just concealer and you know, just really, really blend it into my skin and everything. Yeah, but so I send a picture without saying anything. All I said was sus. I send a Snapchat to like um, my usual crew of people I snap in a day and multiple people responded and they were like, that's like a sex trafficking thing. Like you should be careful and it's, just scary um so my reminder to everyone to be safe and be aware of your surroundings because you fucking never know love that for me now i'm gonna take this nyx stick i actually saw this on amber shoals channel she recently did a makeup tutorial thing and she said she really really liked this and it was time for me to pick up something so i was like because i'm running out of this so i was like well this has like a highlighter in it i was like maybe i'll try this it's pretty nice i will say Basically being a woman is super scary and that's 
life, man. For this, I use this brush to blend. I think it works the best. I really don't know what I'm doing. I know every girl that does her makeup says that, but I think every single girl has no idea what they're doing and we're all on the verge of like a mental breakdown and we just never say it. I saw a quote that said, every woman I've ever met thinks that she's on the edge of insanity and true. Other things that are happening to me, I've been going to the doctors a lot because I'm I'm just under constant, constant stress response, I think. I had to get my blood drawn for the first time in my entire life at 22 and holy cow, it was so freaking scary. And I'm my family is the type of family who doesn't go to like the doctors or hospitals. We're very much a suck it up type of family, like drink a seven up, you'll be fine. That was really frightening for me. I have a really tough time doing anything like medical I'm beginning to learn. Even just simple things like getting your blood drawn was like a 30 minute ordeal for me because I was like hyperventilating. Literally had a full blown panic attack or anxiety attack, um, which is something I don't like deal with at all. So it was just very out of character for me. But the instant I enter like a medical environment something just comes over me where i feel so little i had to like lay down while i had it done because my doctor thought i was gonna pass out and they took me to like the room where you can lie down in is for children literally there was like avengers posters all over the walls which made me feel also very little <laughs> um and rest in peace but there was a picture of chadwick boseman staring right at me as i was getting my blood drawn he didn't make me feel any better, he actually made me feel worse because I was like, the audacity I have to be crying right now over something so dumb. It was just a lot. I Even after I had my blood drawn, they made me like stay back. They were like, you can take off your mask because I had cried so much. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I had cried so much that my tears made my mask wet. And every time I like... <gasps> breathed in, I waterboarded myself with my mask so I couldn't catch my breath. I was crying literally hysterically because I was just, I'm such a sissy. So she was like, you can take off your mask. And I was like, no, like I'm okay. And she was like, you should take off your mask. So I took off my mask, like it was pretty cold, you know, it was the end of October. So I had my hat off or she took my hat off. They were like dabbing my face with paper towels because I was like sweating, but I was like shaking because I was like freaking out. It was just a lot and then finally I'm like catching my breath and I'm like feeling better so I'm like okay like I think I'm okay now I I want to like go home like I'm ready to leave and she was like okay like are you sure and I was like yeah I'll, I'll be okay so I get out to my car and I sit in my car in the parking lot of the doctor's office and just cry for another like five or ten minutes I just sit there and I'm like crying if you remember my video where I did like my summer college like routine because I, was, I took summer classes. There was a couple nights where I was like, I stayed up until seven in the morning. I don't know why I do that. Yeah, that's like been my whole life. I've just been a very bad sleeper. And it didn't matter until now as I'm like getting older that if you have a job and you sleep through your shift more than once, they're just gonna fire you. Like they don't care, you know, your employer is just going to hire someone who won't sleep through their shifts. So I'm at the point where I need to find fixes to my sleeping issues. Um, and yeah, we're trying this like sleep medicine and it's clearly not working. I'm going to take it for another week and then see if we're going to like up the dose or something like that. It's just... Anyway, moving on. Now we're gonna look at my brows. This is new. I've been doing new brow things. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> so, I have eyebrows that wiggle all over my face. Like they never stay how they're supposed to throughout the entire day. No amount of like brow gels do it for me. So, I need to step up my game and use a bit firmer of a product. So I got a little tube of this um, Style Spiking Gel. Probably for people with short hair that like to do the little <laughs> hairstyles. I obviously don't use it for my hair. We're using it for my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna take a little spoolie brush and I just squirt out a little bit and I dab my brush in it just a little bit, nothing crazy. Combing through my eyebrow hairs. 
and I comb my eyebrow hairs up. I think they look their best when they're combed up. So next step in my brows, um, I still fill them in a little bit. So I use um, this MAC pen. Is It's like a liquid liner where it's like a felt tip. I do little, tiny, somewhat realistic hair strokes like this. And that's how I fill them in. So, I'm gonna keep doing that. And there, this is my eyebrows look like. Next step, what I've been sticking to is using a brown color. This is a light brown. It doesn't do much, but I, I do think it adds a little oomph. Next, I'm gonna take this lash primer. If you're a returning subscriber, you've probably seen this before. I'm not going home for Thanksgiving, back to Wisconsin. I'm staying in Minnesota. So it's gonna be a lonely Thanksgiving of just me and Conway, the cat. Um, it's just gonna be us two, which is fine. I just encourage everyone to stay safe. I only had one class on campus this fall, but I'm using this Wet n Wild highlighter now. This stuff is really good. I really like this highlighter. You'll see what it looks like in a second. But my only on-campus class that I had is now going to remote learning for after Thanksgiving because so many people are going to be traveling and going out that it's like that might have been my last class on campus that I'll ever have and it just kind of blows that I didn't even know it was my last class until it was over. It kind of would have been something I would have liked to remember better, you know, it was like this is my last day of college or like actually going to a classroom, you know, and like doing that style of learning. So I've really been missing it. And I know that's selfish to say because people are in a lot worse situations than just not being able to go to college. But it is hard, especially when I'm a liter literature and English student. So nerd alert. I'm not gonna take this lash, whatever. You, I can see now and right now how crazy my lashes have been since I've been using this lash serum. Um, I'm gonna try to edit that video and get it up as soon as I can. It just is a lot longer of a process, but I do think it's been working, but I'll let you all decide in that video. Wow, mascara makes such a difference on the face. I say that every time, but truly, mascara is fucking nuts. Today, I think I'm gonna be using this. It's just a CoverGirl nude color. Nudes are really pretty. Well, mine are. <laughs> Those are my lips. I think that's it. That's my makeup, y'all. That's my new makeup routine. I'm actually gonna dye my hair black um, tomorrow or a day after. And I've had black hair in the past, so it's like not weird. I'm excited because it makes my eyes look a lot nicer. Pro tip, if you have brown eyes, make your hair darker than your eyes and it makes them look less poopy. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that's my makeup. Ignore the huge bags under my eyes. Those are never going away. So I made sure of it because even my sleep medicine doesn't put me to sleep. Okay, I took my selfie and I really don't even like it. And I'm YOLO, though, that's the one we're gonna end up using. I what this one looks though with that filter on. It did not look like that with the filter off. It is now 2.20 in the morning. I've officially wasted an hour of the night just dicking around, doing my makeup, telling some stupid stories. Dude, look at these balls I have. Are they not? the fucking coolest balls you've ever seen. Well, we did all this makeup and I feel like I should do something, but like what? It's literally two in the morning. What is there to do? I asked my mom if I started an OnlyFans, if she would take photos of me for me. And her bitch ass said no. That's fucked up. No offense, Lori. Those are my Nintendo DSs. Okay, everyone, um, thanks for watching my video. I know it was painful for you, but I appreciate it anyway. One day, everything will be different. Not today, but one day, and I hold on to that. So, 
I will leave you with that and maybe I'll talk to you soon. Like I said, I'm dyeing my hair, so maybe I'll video that. But otherwise, I have that one video coming out. That's that. Happy Thanksgiving to those who celebrate and happy genocide to those who understand that Thanksgiving is not an actual holiday. It's the celebration of a mass genocide of people. And we shouldn't celebrate that, obviously, for reasons self-explained. So, happy Turkey Day, I'll say. I won't be celebrating. YOLO. All right. Um, love you the most. I end every video the same with this shot.